A British father of one tried to break out of a quarantine hotel near London, Heathrow Airport this morning, and has gone on hunger strike, after claiming he is being held there under duress, Mail Online can reveal. Anthony Pyam, 30, from Leighton, East London, was involved in an angry confrontation with security guards as he tried to force his way out of the Radisson Blue Edwardian Hotel to get some fresh air. An exclusive video filmed by Mr. Pyam shows him being forced back into the hotel. Security guards surrounded him and pushed him back as he asked to be allowed out for some air and repeatedly told them to social distance. It comes after new rules introduced on Monday mean people arriving in England must quarantine in a hotel for 10 days at a cost of £1,750 if they have been to a country with a high COVID risk, such as Portugal or Brazil. But Mr. Pyam today told Mail Online of his anguish of being detained at Heathrow last night, after he flew in from Sao Paulo, where he was working for his travel agency Skyfly Travel. He said, I am being held under duress. I have not willingly signed any form that consents to me being held in quarantine at a hotel because of the COVID crisis. In other coronavirus developments today. Mr. Pyam who was photographed wearing a Gucci hat worth £240 and a £325 t-shirt from French luxury fashion house Balmat, added, the only reason I filled in the form was that I could be allowed back into Britain. They gave me this passenger locator form and I signed it with the words under duress on it. They have tried to find me £500 and told me that I have to pay £1,750 for the hotel. But I haven't said yes to any of this. I just wanted to get back into the country, quarantine at home, and see my son, who is eight, and I'm really missing him. I did give them my bank account, and have tried to take the £1,750, but it has been declined because that account only has £17 on it, and that was my plan. I am so angry about all this. I've been held prisoner for no reason at all. These rules came in three days ago and I've been trying to get back from Brazil where I supposed to stay for five days since December. I can't believe I've been treated like this. I've been held captive under duress. They're trying to serve me processed food which I don't eat. Somebody cut up a chicken tikka salad which did not look like a chicken tikka salad and I refused to eat it. I am on hunger strike. I won't touch any of the food they give me. They have to let me out of here. They have to let me see a doctor as I've got a sinus problem. I don't feel well. I've been traveling. I don't have COVID either because I had a test before I left which was a requirement. Mr. Pyam, an Arsenal fan, said he was talking to his family on the telephone and hoping to get legal help to free him. He added, I have got a business to run. I've got a life to live. I'm a British citizen and I've been held here against my will and in the most extreme duress. I hope somebody can get me out. I'm going to keep trying to get out of here which is my right. I have not consented to be quarantined in a hotel. The form that I signed says that quite clearly as I wrote that on it. I only signed it so I could get back into the country. They are not practicing social distancing or following the rules in here. They gave me a pen when I arrived here last night to sign into the hotel which is the same pen they gave to the others. I asked for a new pen but they said that had been cleaned. But I didn't see that happening. If we're going to protect everybody gets COVID, we need to follow the rules. That's not happening here. This is so ridiculous. I came in via Madrid and there were people from Spain and Austria on the same flight as me mixing with everybody else and they've just been allowed into the country and not taken into these hotels. Mr. Pyam earlier had held up a message on his laptop to the media outside, which said, I have been held here against my will. They lost my suitcase. I have nothing. I have no essentials. I have told them I can't breathe. Police told me I can't leave without a doctor's exempt note. Please send legal help or something. Thank you. Another message he wrote said, I'm being held against my will. No clothes, no essentials, and I haven't eaten. Some guests have likened the conditions they are staying in at quarantine hotels near the airport to a prison, while others are being escorted outside to smoke, stroll around and sit on benches to make phone calls as much as they like with no time limit. Meanwhile a YouGov poll found 90% of Britons are in favor of the quarantine scheme, while 72% thought the rules should apply to all arrivals, 
not just those from the 33 countries on the UK's red list.